Well, hello, my internet friend. How are you? I'm Trey Rackup here, coming to you with three reasons you should switch from Nix Software to Luminar. Well, don't get me wrong, I love Nix Software. I used it for years, and a lot of engineers over there, good guys, but since Google got them, you know, I'm reading the tea leaves, the writing's on the wall, being put out to pasture, running out of idioms. Meanwhile, Mac Fun is just killing it with this new Luminar, with Aurora, with everything else they do. These Ukrainian geniuses just constantly surprise me. So let me show you three reasons. I'll get started right now with reason number one. Is if you remember all those sliders that were there in Nick? Well, all the ones that I would use, and a lot of people would use, are kind of condensed now in just one slider on Luminar. It's this AI artificial intelligence slider. This is how it works. Let me turn off this uh, before and after thing. And this is it right here, the Accent AI slider. So it starts down here, and you just slide it up. That's all you gotta do. And look how fast that thing is, right? Incredibly fast. All right, fast forward to reason number two to switch to Luminar, and that would be the custom workspaces, controls, and presets. All right, let me show you really quickly what I mean. Um, you can see these are the presets down here. These have to be my presets, which I heavily recommend. And uh, you can have dramatic effects on your photos, or you can adjust them so that you don't, maybe you don't want that much effect. You just move this slider up and down, wherever you might like, all right? And this is something that Nick didn't have also, is these giant previews. So you don't even really need to click on the previews to see what they would be like. You can kind of just see it right away. Um, let me show you what the workspaces are, all right? Uh, so I'm going to go change this workspace. We're going to kind of start this one over and go over here to Portrait. And what happens is you'll notice that it loads these panels over here that only have to do with portrait kind of photography, right? There's a different one for landscape and different kinds of environments, right? And let's say you do like all those really tight granular controls that Nick had. Well, this has all the same ones. If you want to add something else, just go click Add Filter and go pick something you might like. Uh, well, let's just go pick High Key, which is sometimes used in for this kind of photography, and you can move these sliders around as much as you like, um, and you can see how fast and responsive it is. Um, here's a landscape photo, for example, and go pull this one up right here. And in this case, what I might do if I were to start over, this is uh, one of my other presets here called Glowing Color Cat. Um, I might change this to landscape, and now when you do landscape, you get different kinds of controls there on the right side that you don't have for portraits. You have a few overlaps, but Otherwise, you get to make your own world. It's just incredible. The third reason would just be raw speed. Um, you know, I often found Nick to be a little bit sluggish, especially on the export, but this thing is so fast, it's unbelievable. Let me just give you like two quick examples. So I have one of my black and white presets chosen here, but I'm gonna switch over to this one called Contrasted Contraption. And this has a lot of that good kind of micro structure stuff that I enjoy out of Nick so much. It's, uh, but you can see how fast that was. It just went almost instantly, right? And it loaded up totally different controls. If I switch back here to black and white, um, it's, it's almost instantaneous, right? Isn't that unbelievable? All right, well, I hope you enjoyed a little Amuse Bouche of Luminar. Uh, I just love this thing, play with it all day. I can't wait to see your creations. Uh, feel free to share them back in our group. We've got a, a group on Facebook called Trey's Funky Lounge. Really nice group of people in there. I'll put a link to it down below, and uh, yeah, come play with me. This thing's a blast. We're all in this together. Let's go.